Well, Francisco Dominguez is the head of the Latin American Studies Research Group at Middlesex University here in the UK and joins us now live. Good to have you with us. Uh, so given the, the continuing violence, the instability, the threat of US sanctions and now the calls for a national strike, why is President Maduro refusing to back down on this or at least make concessions? Well, I think the proposal of the Constitutional Assembly is totally constitutional. It is consecrated in Article 348 of the Constitution. And um, it's an election. It's got to be decided democratically by secret and universal vote. And um, that's why he's sticking to it. I think the main reason for him calling for the Constitutional Assembly is that he wants to produce a sort of national form of dialogue among the people at the grassroots level through their own representatives, elected representatives, because they want to stop the violence that's been mainly perpetrated by sections of the opposition through strikes and okay, through the, particularly... Okay, but the violence and the political instability have caused huge concern throughout the region. There's now a regional push to try and resolve this crisis. Colombia, Argentina, Mexico, possibly Cuba involved in a diplomatic initiative. Uh, what influence do you think they could bring to bear on this situation? Well, the attempt to mobilize the organization of American states for more than a year against um, the government of Maduro in Venezuela has failed. And the reason is most of the countries do not want to interfere in internal affairs of the country, except there are a few countries that do. And I think this is also going to fail. I very much doubt that Cuba actually is involved in any of this at all. The U.S. has said that it's going to impose sanctions if this plan uh, for a new assembly goes ahead. Uh, what do you think they might be and, and what impact do you think they will have on this situation? Well, the only, the only dramatic decision that the United States can take as a sanction against Venezuela is to stop importing Venezuelan oil, which I doubt very much they're going to do. The only thing they're likely to do is to actually sanction individuals in the government, which they've done you know, again and again and again. And I don't think this is going to have any consequence whatsoever. Venezuela's economy is geared towards the different parts of the world, not necessarily the United States. And Venezuela does not depend on any uh, decision by the IMF or the World Bank. And that's why they can, I suppose, um, resist such a pressure. Internally or domestically, we know that the opposition have called for uh, a national strike on Thursday. Uh, what effect is that going to have? What kind of turnout do you think that will have? Over the last year and a half, the opposition has called about seven general strikes and they haven't even been noticed by the international media. I don't think this one is going to have any consequence. It's going to be very similar to the last ones that they called. And the key reason is the opposition used to have control over significant sections of the Trinidadian woman, which they lost completely. Um, the worry, I suppose, that not only myself but many other people have want to express is that because the strike is going to fail, they might just go into violence, which is what they've done for the last three months, which is extremely worrying when President Maduro called them to engage in dialogue and, and sit at the negotiation table, which they refused. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Good to speak with you, Francisco Dominguez there uh, from Middlesex University.